Yaani mama ule 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 unajua mimi naenda kukufa tu. Niko na wazazi zako na spend na wewe wazazi za mwisho. Na still wezi ni wezi onyeshana kitu yoyote kama hiyo. Mama Jerry. Ni nini imekuwa ikiendelea? Usiniambia la alikwambia hadi usiende shule. Leo si unasikia vile ame ni muue why why should i do it Sasa mimi naona watu wananijudge so Ashley but i had nothing to do with that Especially to that man he has been there to us He has been there with us our family my kids there is one of my kid even after my husband The story of my husband has, has happened and ikaisha kidogo he stood with us. Alichukua akamtafutia sponsorship sahia ku college anasoma. How can I be that cruel to that kind of a person? Ni nipange njama ya kumua. So there were My good people, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the home of bangers. This is Pastor Show and definitely in Eastern Central Africa we are the leading channel eh? the only thing you just wish from you is just you add us subscribers tafadhali tu we are road to 200,000 eh? and it seems like the journey is becoming big ladies and gentlemen and we are a big number of people we can do this i don't believe all right and uh, to every person to every client who has trusted us na katuaminia solar energy system eh? thank you so much sai tuko number client number 20 25 eh? yeah. thanks to the more, more than 25 customers eh? already when you me kuja na waka confirm na sisi and the installation is going on eh, actually even right now i'm so happy to announce that i'm already booked up to wednesday sawa sawa so if you are calling right now no it's above wednesday sawa sawa na nimekuambia sa it's very easy tafadhali the best the good, the justice you can do to yourself is to avoid kulipa bills za juu na hii economy sawa sawa it's very simple imagine solar system ni kuweka tu the rest unangojea jua tu ya mungu and it's free of charge sawa sawa tupigie simu Okay, ni kama uwezi tupigia simu tuandikie message. Kama uwezi tuandikie message, niandikie pale kwa WhatsApp. Sawa sawa. I'm going to lie with you. We do everything. Na nilikwambia this time round mpaka mtu mwenye ako diaspora. You can do this. You can do this for your family. You can do this to your parents or to people you love. The best gift you can ever wapatia ni uweke kwa mwangaza. Sawa sawa. Uache kuweka kwa giza. All right? My number is very simple. 0708 06 thirty and of course i'll be so happy to offer you my services all right one of the most waited episode ndio hii hapa ambayo mume request sana i myself this will be the most interesting episode kwa sababu i have been reaching out to this woman until i was almost giving up koi I didn't I didn't I don't know why she so no reason as to why she should answer my calls nor my text messages eh? but she is here she will explain to us definitely she surrendered and last finally finally ameamua kukuja kuongea na sisi all right remember I'm Stano and you're watching Pastor Show I'm feeling I'm supposed to give you just this mic uonge tukuelewe I know you know everything, right? Yes. You know kila kitu. Yeah. Nataka uzungumze. Yeah, my name is Wa Wangoi, short name Koi. Yeah, I've been seeing so many videos everywhere rumors saying that I had something to do with my husband's death, but that is not true. Like people always like judging people without knowing their inner part of the story of which that really shattered me inside that's why you used to reach me but i was unavailable because i needed some space for myself how did you know it's it was me and you didn't have my number rumors are everywhere whenever you walk you come ac across everywhere videos everywhere so i knew it was you and other so many people are calling out to know 
what I did, what happened. But I'm here today to clarify everything that happened. So people should judge, not judge so easily, but should also, before they start judging others, they should also pick, pick also one side to listen to. As per my side, I can say I, I was innocent of the act. You are or you are? I am innocent mm -hmm. and I am always be innocent. Of everything, every rumors they are saying, I am innocent. Yeah. Joshua? Yes. A bit kidogo too. There is something I need to confirm. Yeah. Did you confirm? Yeah, we did it. But the ID have watched Nakatikat in one way. Yeah. Just Wait a bit, eh? I'm sorry. And I'm not being tribal tribal here. I just want to confirm how are you koi and uh, if I can listen keenly to your accent you're not uh, a kikuyu. And koi is a kikuyu name meaning wangoi. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a kikuyu, I'm a luo. My mom is a kikuyu. He married a luo man. His name is Otieno. So my mother was the one who gave me the name of Koi because his parents died when he was really young. So she was brought up with her grandma, which was a Kikuyu, called Koi Wangoi. So that's why my name is Koi Wangoi, but I'm not a Kikuyu, I'm a Luo. You're a Luo? Yeah. Hi. Is the story adding up, director? Can I confirm? Yeah, you can. You have your ID? Yeah, I am. Let but me. I don't know if I have it. Well, let me see. You're not sure I can't remember. Yeah, let me see. So your full name? My full name is Elizabeth Wangoi Otien. No, I do gonna be bidia. Yeah. What is it for? I always look at it. Elizabeth Wangoi Otien. Mm, for my be. Yeah. Rangwe. Yeah. Mm. East Gem. Ko? Kotieno. Yeah. Kotieno. Yeah. That is our story. Rangwe. Yeah. Mm. So there, uh, you were born in Homabe? Yeah, I was born there. Okay. Yeah. Now, Nime Kutafta Sana. Na definitely at least nime kusikia you know as to the reason as to why nime kwenye kikutafuta. There is this woman by the name Wanjiko, uh, Mama Njeri, yeah. alias principal's wife. Eh? Yeah. And there is a very big case and a very sad one that is going around. Eh? Yeah. And actually that is popping up kwa sabata ija pop up vizuri venye nafa. And in the midst you are also being accused that you murdered your husband. I want you to talk. Yeah. I'll stand from the beginning before I found out that my husband went missing. Like before, before, do you know Principal Mungai? Principal Mungai. Do you know him? I knew him through her wife, mm -hmm. Jerry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mama Jerry. Mama Jerry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my, my as usual uh, that night u uh, tulikuwa na furaha tu kama kawaida kama familia do you still talk with mama Jane? are you friends we we were friends but not that nowadays is not that much yeah because of everything that has been happening like i told you that i w i needed space for myself so that's w that's when We've not been that close so far, that much. But I want to narrate my story also so people can also understand my side of the story before they judge me. 
if even they are going to you you felt people judged you harshly yeah they judged me harshly without listening to my side of the story mm -hmm. so here i am i want to clarify everything okay, clarify then uh, yeah. out of your story i'm going to ask you some questions eh? yeah. okay yeah as how, how did your husband die before i go to that i just want to say something okay yeah that night before that night my husband got a call from what's the name of, what, what the name what was the name of your husband my the name of my husband was jack jack yeah, yeah. No, your husband was jack yeah was okay. jack so it was this this evening we had a we, we we made a very good dinner we had ourselves filled up so my husband got a call from a client who needed some who needed a car because my husband was dealing with the car car issues he had a, a car yard that was the business he was mainly doing so that night he had a call from a client and the client told him to go early in the morning so that they can meet because he wanted to buy one of these cars. So we slept very, very well. Early that morning, I wake up early, I prepared the breakfast. He was in a hurry and I even nikam mwambia, there is no way uta end I with an empty stomach. Jaribu hata ukunyue kachai kidogo. Hakakunyua tu kachai, tukakunyua like haku kawia kuzalikuwa na haraka kuenda kazi. Hakatoka it was almost 6.30 na elekea 7.00. Hakatoka kaenda kazi. As usual, mi uwa nabaki kwa nyumba, nafanya kazi zangu, na mze wangu tunapendana sana. Tunapendana. Hata nikikamu da kidogo tu hivi, nimemiss na izampigia. So that day, nika maliza shuguli zangu, nika pika lunch. As usual, tunakulanga lunch na epa moja, kuzi penya nafanya kazi si mbali, nikaribu. Sasa nilivo piga simu wakupokea, nika piga tena wakupokea. Mi nika sema tu labda, ameshikana, Jukazi ni mi, ni mingi. Nika relax. Kufika saa kumi, nika mpigia tena. Kupiga, nika piga like twice. Hakawa ashiki simu. So, I got some worries. Nika piga, nika piga through the office phone kwa yard. Nika ulizia wakaniambia, ah, mze wako, leo, unaniulizia mze wako kama hako hapa na atuja muona tangu wa subuhi. No, yeah, boss. Yeah. The other, yeah. So, they were referring now to, uh, to my, yeah, my husband. Bossy leo haja ingia tangu wa subuhi. You are asking na haja ingia. So mimi rooni, nikasema, ili nishtua lakini nikasema, ah, wenda ikawa alipata darura ingine tena before afike pali. So that night, nikaka tu hivo, ikafika six, nikapiga simu ingi. Ah, nikaanza kuingiwa na wasiwasi. Tuka, nika tayarisha sapa, saa mbili ikafika, saa nne, wapi, simoni mze. Nikaingiwa na wasiwasi sana, nikapigia simu nyumbani. Yeah, kidogo tunakukati hapo. Yeah. Unisema jioni yake alikuwa mepigua simu na client. Yeah. Kwa mba client alikuwa na itaji gari. Yeah, na waka agree wa mitu wapi? Wali agree wata mita subui. Wapi? Ilikuwa ni wa mitu kwa ofisi. Kwa yard. Kwa yard. Okay. Yeah. Na after umepiga simu kwa yard, mm. kwa ofisi sasa, mm. wali kuambia the client alikuja. Yeah, well, I didn't even query about it. Siku query, because I was getting so worried, because si kawaida yake kuwa hivo. So siku ulizia, hapo na yo siku ulizia. So after that, mimi nikaona saa moja imefika, ninapiga simu ichukuliwi, ichukuliwi, na already nilisha piga job nikambiwa kuingia kazi. So it got me worried, nikaka kufika kitu saine usiku, nikaona si kawaida yake kabisa. Nikapigia mamake simu. Mamake kumpigia kaniambia, ah, tuliongea jana lakini hatujaongea tena. We jaribu jaribu wenda ikawa hakukua hizo mamu zake na, ka, na kazi. Tulia tu. Nikatulia, nikatulia. Following the following day, nikawa nata, naulizia, naulizia. Ndiyo badai naona in the news that there was a man mwenye alipatikana amewawa. So by then, sikuwa nimeingiwa, it could be my husband. No, because mimi niliona labda ni kazi memshika, but I was deeply down, I was really worried. So vile nilika chini vizuri sasa nikaanza kufatilia news, nikaona ni kweli nyeye. I was even shocked 
Because mimi na mme wangu tulikuwa tunapendana sana. Na tulikuwa tumepamba mambo mengi sana. The moment I saw that, niliumwa sana, nikakimbia polisi, kuulizia juu. Obviously, ukiona mpindwa wako maali, you will be in shock. But still, hao, familia wanyuma kama wazazi wake, they will need an explanation. Na explanation ni mimi, because through, through buwanangu, wanaeza nipata mimi. Through buwanangu, mtoto wawo, wanaeza nipata mimi. So, I was worried. Adi nikashindwa nitaambia adi madhake. Nilishtuka. Nili Nikaanza kunini kufuatilia kwa maaskari. Ndiyo nikaenda nikapata kweli my husband was stabbed. Ali dungwa visu na I don't know how it happened. But outside here na I gather so many stories outside here that I had a plan. I had what. So I'm so I'm so shocked. I'm in pain. I'm in so much pain. Even now uh, Naskia Bibia principal is saying that tulipanga na yeye ju niliua bwanangu so still nilipanga na yeye tuue tena bwanako. How can I do that? Now from the moment my husband amekufa they were there for me. Mwanzo principal I didn't know him but he's a very good man. He has been there for my family. He has been provided for my family throughout this time. Everything you are saying outside here are not true. That man has been like a father figure to us in our family. Even my kids, whenever they are from school to holidays, wanaenda kuwake ni kama kuwa, yani they are there always. How can I do that to them? Na buwanangu tahari ya meenda. Is there anatusaidia? Mbona ni mfanyia hivyo? Mbona ni muwe? Why? Why should I do it? Sasa mimi naona watu wananijaji so ashly, but I had nothing to do with that. Especially to that man, he has been there to us. He has been there with us, our family, my kids. There is one of my kid, even after my husband. The story of my husband has, has happened and Ikaisha kidogo. He stood with us. Alichukua akamtafutia sponsorship sahi ya ku college anasoma. How can I be that cruel to that kind of a person? Ni ni pange njama ya kumua. So the wife anafaa tu ajeleze vizuri ni nani alikuwa mepanga na ekos. To me he's she is really lying. I can't do that to that person. He's a very good man, honest man with dignity. I can't do that for him. So that is the side of my story. Koi, yeah. you have a very nice story, and I'm really feeling you, by the way. I'm almost even crying, eh? yeah. listening to you, but this is a story that doesn't need emotion at all. If you put emotion in this story, it's done. You won't be, I won't, if I put emotions in this story, I won't be able to handle it. A professional, you're right. Mm. This is Pastor Shu. People need answers. What happened to your husband, Jack? It's now five years since you buried your husband, right? Yeah. yeah. Five years. Yes. Down the line. Yeah. What happened to Jack? Very simple question. Jack, according to the autopsy in the hospital, Jack was murdered. He was stabbed three times. Where and where? In his chest. He was stabbed three times, and he died instantly. Apart from that, they said they that wali yokota like in a somewhere in like where where specific kwa nini the specific place wali pata dika uko mstuni uko nde wali pata ametupwa ya nagari yake ilipatika na imingizwa kwa maji so ya kwa muto so. I don't understand where me and that crime comes between because even that day I tried calling my husband. I got even worried. If I had a plan to kill him, why would I be the one calling, asking, why? Why will I get worried? You can see now the way I am, Vileniko. Nakaaji, mi buwanangu alikuwa menieka vizuri, sikuizi na fulia watu. Nina waoshia manyumba ndiyo tukule kwa nyumba yangu. Still, we unaeza kubali. Uwe mtu anakusaidia. Anajua unafaa kuenda salu. Nangalia saivi lenyuele inaka. 
ilikuwa naenda saloon after every two weeks napelekwa saloon na bwanangu na ilikuwa nampenda sana bwanangu na si hizi vitu nasikia sijui mara nimeoa bwanangu hizi mimi sijui what i can say i am innocent kitu kama hiyo sijawahi fanya and i will never do it to any other person and i will never wish evil for anybody i can't do it and it is paining me so much because even my children are always crying asking me where their daddy went and it is a shock to my family even to my kids i have i don't even know what to do i'm shocked even now they are saying that i i had a plan to kill also the principal how can i do that and the principal has been there for my family he's providing for my family how can i do that to that kind of a person even you viewers even if you are you are looking at me right now will you do something like that to any that body who wish you well you can't you can't kwa principal inakaa kama kwa watoto wangu kwao nyumbani cause anawa treat vizuri hata wakirudi shule anawapeleka na gari hadi shuleni anawa providea chakula pocket money sometimes hata nikiwa chini nimeenda kufua nimekosa unapata ameniletea shopping ananiwekea hapo ananiambia nilishe watoto kwani mimi ni binadamu aina gani naweza mfanyia kitu kama hicho i'm not that cruel na mimi i'm not a murderer i can't do that i can't that is all i have nothing else to say in short you are saying i also saw the news of i saw news of the death of my husband on tv yeah i saw the the news of the death of my husband on tv and i was also shocked just like any other person i was also shocked and confused i didn't know who to run to because everyone was filled with lies everywhere i had no one to turn to is only the principal who has been there for my family for my kids for me whenever i have problems is there what evil can you wish to such kind of a person you can't so that is all i can tell all the viewers before you judge somebody please listen to her story first listening won't cost anything it's just a listening ear it's just a minute give it a, a listening I won't say much about it eh? but I'm feeling eh yes una jondo hapa vizuri lakini there are so many questions that you need to answer one you are saying principal's wife is lying right yeah how and we saw messages in her phone is not her who actually spoke and said that you killed her husband is the messages that we saw in her phone indicated categorically that you were uh, you you in one way or the other uh, participated in the death of your husband jack all right yeah. the second thing i asked the same same question to wanjiko mama njeri the principal's wife eh? i asked her direct i asked her this question did koi kill her husband and she responded by saying call koi ask her that question all right mm. and i've called you i called you severely you are not receiving my calls eh? uh, the second the, the other thing you are coming here to say is that principal's wife was lying how did she lie and she never spoke anything we are lying from the information we got from our phone all right and the information was categorical you killed the husband you lost with a guy called ben and another lady called caro your husband had a, uh, did your husband had a, a life insurance yes he had the money was paid yeah it was paid who 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 actually uh, participated in all this game yeah you know my husband bwanangu alikuwa anga open na mimi everything tulikuwa tunafanya pamoja hata eh, kila chochote alikuwa anataka kufanya alikuwa ananiambia hata hiyo life insurance alikuwa ameniambia na through him ndio nikajua that Ben 
So when he died na he died accidentally like that I had nowhere to turn to. So like he had told me kuwa kuna insurance ali insure life yake in any case in future si kuomba ama alikuwa naomba akufe but people do that nowadays to ensure you can insure your company your life everything there are so many insurance companies in Kenya so vile alienda ku insure nikakumbuka cuz i have kids na they have needs like paying school fees i have to run the house kuna vitu aziko na pia wakati alikuwa nazikwa pesa zilitumika mingi sana hata hiyo mambo na magari there wa, unajua ukiwa mwanabiashara lazima sometimes utachukua loans nini nini na sometimes life ikikatika tu hivyo kuna mengine we pia hujajua kama kama bibi kuna vitu vingi unaweza jua ndio lakini unajua wanaume wengi wengi zingine huwa wanaweka uwezi ambiwa kila kitu like zile professional ones sana kuna zenye maybe huku ambiwa ama alisahau kuse, kusema so unapata ile time burial ile time burial imeisha like two months or three months unaanza kupata watu watu wa sijui wa bank fulani kuna pesa ilichukuliwa obviously all the properties zenye ziko hapo ili utoke kwa yale majanga you will somehow have to sell them ili usettle the debts so hivyo ndo tulifanya nikarudi to zero that's when nikakumbuka my husband had told me kuwa kulikuwa na hiyo mambo na so the card was being run on loans yeah so nikasema when ni, aliniambia kuna time ali, ali ako kwa insurance ya life that's when i remembered kuna ali, ali nionyeshanga ben nikamtafuta tukaenda kwa karo then karo ali approve akatupea hiyo nini insurance fund achi hapo yeah uh, yesterday as you were talking to my team yeah you gave different information like you said you met you met Joshua Ebukuja you said you met Ben before you met Ben after the death of your husband now you are saying you met Ben before the death of your husband no. jana nilikuuliza ukaniambia mm. as you were asking her questions eh mm-hmm. uliniambia she said ali meet Ben after the death of the husband right yeah saya nasema she met she met Ben before the death of her husband. Where is the truth? That's two, two things different. Because yesterday on, on, on the call, because I even listened, mm. the voice notes are there in our hard, hard hazard. All right? Yeah. Where is the truth? The truth is, before, before my husband had passed away, you know, like I told you, Bwanangu, there are so many things, some of them, alikuwa ananiambia na tulikuwa tunashirikiana like hizi za mambo na hizi mali zetu some of them alikuwa anatuambia of which lakini jana nilisikia maulizo hiyo swali na iko pale naweza kuchezea these voice notes jana uliulizo vizuri kwa simu ukaulizoa uli meet ben before mupatane na before kifa ya bwana yako ama after ukasema after ukasema after where say you nasema before yeah kitu in I have the recordings yeah yeah i i won't change my statement i'll go with it no yeah. already you have changed yeah so just nataka ni explain ndio munielewe musione there are different parts like i said i told you bwanangu alikuwa ni mtu anakuwa na tunapendana na alikuwa ananiambia kila kitu siri mingi alikuwa ananiambia so like hata hiyo ya nini ya insurance alikuwa ameniguzia hata hiyo ya commit ban tuonge naye yeah the only thing yenye siku clarify of which maybe nili ili, nili misspell ni bwanangu alinitajia he had this client called uh, akona huu mtu wa insurance called Ben na in the right moment i will come to know him waona so ndio hiyo accident ika happen you know when you talk sometimes unaweza ongea maybe you are emotional yeah so maybe i said that but maybe i was emotional because vile nikikumbuka 
how we used to be. So that's when maybe nili misspell. But originally, Ben nime kukutana na ye, after sasa akisha zikuwa buwanangu, ndiyo sasa nakumbuka, buwanangu waliwainiambia, a right moment tutakutana na insurance guy called Ben. Waona. Sasa ndiyo nikakumbuka, acha na mimi nifuatilie huyu Ben guy, mwenye niliambiwa na buwanangu, kuwa ali insure through ye, ali muonyesha uko kwa insurance company. That's when Ben ali nichukua kanipele, akanipeleka huko kwa insurance hata to commit this this lady who approved the fund insurance fund called Karo. Karo. yeah so he also no Karo. yeah i knew i, I, I love how you're bringing these names out yeah uh -huh. so i knew Karo to ruben when she, he took he took me there in the insurance company when i wanted that fund that's when i knew Karo. but before that i didn't knew Karo. The only thing I knew, my husband has, had told me he had a guy from the insurance company called Ben, but I did not meet him in person. He told me that it will reach as a day we will go and meet him, but we didn't meet. So after the burial, that's when everything was taken. That's when I, re I nikakumbuka, nikasema, ah, my, my husband ali niguzianga kusu a guy from the insurance company. Na to the notebooks, alikuanga anandika the numbers kwa nyumba. Si unajua mtu kuanga na notebook anandika tu vitu zake. Nikaenda kuwafuatilia, nikapata namba. Nikapiga, nikapata the Ben guy. Nika akaniambia, nirauke kesho yake tuende na yeye uko. That when I met the guy. So that day when we went to the insurance company, when he took me there, that's when I... I came to learn of Karu. Karu was working there as in the insurance company. He was there. He was the one approving the insurance funds. Yeah. So that's how I met the two of them. Thank you so much. And she looks to be smart. Yeah? She looks to be smart. Now that's where I was <laughs> coming to. Eh? Yesterday, the call, on the call, my team asked you, Unafanyanga nini currently? Sawa sawa? Yeah. Ukajibu wakasema ni biashara. Mm -hmm. And specifically you know the biashara you named. Right now here, umekuja ukasema anafulianga watu. Let's not lie to each other. Haukai mutu anafulia watu. Tusidanganyane. The information first of all you gave yesterday and today concerning your career, Two different things. Yeah. Yesterday, I thought we met on the way. No, not in the we called, no. we called you. Yeah. You don't even remember. No, no, I remember. Yeah. When you called, I told you that Nafanya Biashara to cut the story short. Because I knew one day, one time, we'll come and meet in person. To see me in person, if I'm really a businesswoman, or just a working staff. Yeah, you see. Yeah, baby's mama. It's mama too, and I'm sorry for this. Eh? Uh, give us a 360. Yeah. Yeah? This is Mimi Nili Umbuaivi. Yeah. Who named Dona Kakufulia Mutu? Anafua Mana Fuliwa. There's two, two things. No. Anafua Makfoy. Where ni Mutu Naka Kufulia Mutu? You know. Sieti, ukitembea, ukae kama mashida zako. Unajua, yeah. unaeza kosa, lakini, yeah. pesa yeah. na yu haifichi. You appear as only. Eh. Yeah. Wacheni ni wambie kitu. Uh -huh. Unajua, even though my husband died, na I'm here today to clarify everything. That does not make me nikue shagi, cause niliwambia nafanya biashara. Niliwambia nafanya biashara, because from my first statement, I nilikuwa nataka space yangu. Before that, I nilikuwa nataka spe, space yangu. So I said that, na tukamaliza conversation. Sindio, we didn't go far. So I said that, ni finish the conversation. Because I knew, one day, one time, I'll come and visit you. Tuonane ana kwa ana. Ili sasa niwambie the real me. You know outside, sai kuna vitu vingi sana, viko. People are even not sure what to believe anymore. 
Sasa lazima tu ningesema to shut up ili one day nikifika mahali kama hapa of which i knew one day lazima ningefika hapa na mimi ni clarify singebaki na hiyo guilt ya watu kunifikiria vibaya in the society no nilipanga nikuje na mimi nijieleze sasa yule mwenye atatake kuwa mimi bado ni mbaya ni sawa cause unajua people are different na uwezi lazimisha mtu kuwa kitu hataki kukua so mimi kazi yangu ile inafanya na fulianga watu nafanya hizi kazi ndogo ndogo mtu anaweza niita nimpikie hata chapati anilipe mtu anaweza niita nimuoshe nyumba nioshe nifue nifue de ile kitu naweza sema ni kujiweka vile unajiweka vizuri unaweza kuwa unapata kazi kidogo that does not make you a less of a woman lazima na we ujiweke tu vizu, vizuri hiyo ndiyo kazi inafanya na hiyo pesa Be, kidogo Before the death of my husband, bwanangu alikuwa anga amenifungulia easy boutique. Nilikuwa nikiuza wigs, nilikuwa nikiuza mavazi nguo za wasichana, makaa, nini, vipochi kama hivi. So, vile alinini kila kitu ili crash like nilikwambia kumbe kulikuwa na pending loans na mimi acha hapo, acha hapo. Kwa hiyo you are a very intentional liar. Just some few minutes umejieleza hapa hivi ukasema before your husband died you were a housewife you were doing nothing just some few minutes ago are you an intentional liar i'm not a liar that's why i've asked you the same same question i've asked you in this I'm interview i'm not a liar because i needed to just get you red hearted i'm not a liar there is something i want to clarify when i started my statement nikawambia that day when Nilikuwa tunawanaretia the moment ile time tulikuwa na my husband before I end me missing like a submissive wife hata kama unafanya kazi there are so many duties inside the house you must do kupika kufua kufanya nini you will do for your husband utaachia kila kitu mfanye kazi even if you have a, a business somewhere running lazima utafanya umalize uende biashara yako urudi there is this part <laughs> i want to get and understand mm. and the part is what everybody here is waiting for which part money that was paid by the insurance company how much was it it was 9 million 9 million kenyan yeah. million eh? yeah. kenyan shillings yeah. would you just uh, elaborate to us how you spent the 9 million and for how long did it uh, for how, for how the, the duration the money lasted yeah wakati nilipewa 9 million i had also my pending bills there zenye nilisort like a woman cuz pia mimi wakati nili unajua unaweza pewa pesa na mzae na bwana na bwana kama ako na pesa atakupea pesa na we as women wakati bwana ako na pesa you dream highly unataka uende mali ukisikia kuna nguo imetoka New York imetoka Turkey imetoka wapi una feel like na wewe explore vile money na flow waona sasa so, so that's how hizo pesa ziliingia huko vile ziliingia cause nilikuwa kila mtu wenye nilikuwa ananichukulia nini zinani wananiletea wananiimportia wengine zingine nilikuwa nafanya nataka uatie hapo kidogo mm. tu mm wachi hapo penye unaendelea unaendelea kuelezea eh, how you spend the money mm. already has, you have already declared it mm. was 9 million mm. how you spend because I'm um, being informed we have a guest mm. and uh, the guest is in a hurry mm. he's supposed to come here we talk mm. and immediately he leaves eh? okay. principal monga is around okay. Yeah, he is uh, he had actually asked us eh, mm-hmm. that he will only be available for around one hour only mm-hmm. so i would wish i welcome him he come we talk and then we raise him we go all right okay. are you ready to meet him yeah i'm ready are you nervous i'm not you're not eh? yeah and so ladies and gentlemen let's meet on the second part of this interview i want to understand how the money was spent uh, the question that i will ask you how did ben end up getting more than half of the 9 million where else you are stating clearly that you are in debts 
the company of your husband was in debt and then Ben end up getting more than half of the money. Let me ask you this direct question. Ben got nine million of five million out of the nine million. True or false? Ben got four. Four million. Yeah. Out of the nine million. Yeah. That's now the big question. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mr. Mongai as he comes in on to the next part of this interview. This is Pastor Show. I'm your team master and definitely you're watching the best. Remember, we are the best people who are supposed to plug you with the best solar systems. Eh? Electricity bills are too high. Kindly do something. Our number is very simple. 0708 that Please be our next client eh? and we'll be happy to serve you. All right. And let me begin with you. Tafadali, cut your kitu director. Story yako ikona. Pats mingi zanyezi na kawongo.